So, you like flags and you like waving. Why don't you wave at people that have flags? Hey guys, one bad touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to make a waving flag, and also we're gonna put a texture on it, because uh, you guys, all the time, you just ask me how, because I've done a flag tutorial before, we're gonna be doing like a double dose of today, so we're gonna make the flag, and we're gonna put something on it, so let's get started real quick, we got stuff to do, so, hit delete on default cube, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry, we're gonna hit shift A and add in a mesh plane, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, S, X to scale that on the X axis just a little bit make it a rectangle like that using the middle mouse button to click and pan around my scene there uh, Now we can hold down shift and click with the middle mouse button to pan around like that now with our camera selected I'm gonna hit alt G and alt R to clear the rotation and location Then RX 90 on my numpad and enter to confirm that then G Y to move the camera backwards like that perfect wonderfulness all right, so now, we can go ahead and select our uh, flag here by hitting, uh, select our flag and then hit RX 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Left click to confirm that. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and subdivide this a little bit. So we're going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And I want to split this in half by using the loop cut tool over here. And then just click that and then just click once in the middle. Uh, maybe once here, here, and then once right about there. Now, we have kind of even proportions a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead. And go back to the selection tool here, double tap A, and hit, uh, sorry, not I, uh, right click, and then hit subdivide, and then hit subdivide again. So now we have a couple different little chunks here. I'm going to do it again. So maybe that many, that many looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit S, Z to scale this down a little bit, just so they're squares, just so they're a little bit more squares. It doesn't have to be, it's just something I want to do. Went tab to go out of edit mode, and then we can go ahead and go to the modifiers tab here, and add a modifier of cloth. Now we can uh, go to the physics tab because it says we don't we can't we can't mess with the settings here. So we'll go down to the physics tab, which is this bad boy right here. And now we have cloth set up. So this is pretty cool. Um, we could use soft body, but I'm use cloth today because it, I like using cloth. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll on down to shape. We can undo cloth because we don't need that right now. Actually, actually we do need that. That's all of this whole thing. Wow. Okay. Well, we can undo these physical properties. Uh, there we go. So now. We don't need that. That's what I was doing. All right. So in shape, we can go to pin group. And this pin group is what's going to help us actually pin the side of the flag. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the back to the flag and hit tab to go back into edit mode. I'm going to click one of these vertices over here and hold down shift and alt. And then just click. And it'll, it should select all those vertices on the, all on the side there. So now I'm going to go to the, uh, buh, 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 the, uh, the, the object data tab and go to vertex groups. Hit this little plus button. I'm going to call this uh, flag buddy pins. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead. That's a, that's a glorious name, by the way. It's the only name you're allowed to name it. You have to name it that. Actually, you don't have to name it that. I'm just joking. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit a sign on that. And now all of these vertices are uh, are part of the flag buddy pins group. Uh, just double click that. Just make sure you, it's, it, it is assigned. Now. Hit tab to go back out of edit mode, and in our physics tab here, we can go to the pin group, and now our pin group can be flag buddy pins. Now, if I were to play this animation, you can see that the flag now falls, but this little, the vertices that we pinned do not. That's what we need. So if we didn't have this, whole thing would just fall. So if we put that pin group back, you see that now the flag is pinned to those vertices. Now, we have a lot of little jumbly, jumbly jarbles with the little squares and stuff, so we can fix it up by going ahead and going to object, Shade smooth and we can also go ahead and add in a subdivision surface modifier by going to the modifiers tab here And then adding a modifier of subdivision surface now. It's a little more smoothie, you know put that on about two So now it's looking really pretty good. I like it But uh, our flag still has a little bit of things that I want to do to it We can always mess with the settings around so if you want to change how this works You can go to collision make sure self collision is on so it doesn't go through itself Which is a big deal now your computer might have a little bit of problems with uh, some of these settings, but don't worry about it um if, if you if you are just undo the subdivision surface undo some of these higher settings that we're doing real quick but other than that you should be all good to go so you can bump up the quality but I'm gonna leave it the same way I'm also gonna turn the distance up of the um, object collision so I'm gonna go from point zero fifteen to point twenty uh, yeah looks good to me and then we'll go ahead and turn all of that down because we don't need it anymore and I'm going to go to physical properties and I'm going to turn down some of this stuff. I'm going to turn the bending down to 0.3 and 0.3 on both of these instead of 
Um, there we go. So eh, maybe a little bit more. And I think the tension can go down too. So we'll take it from 15 to... Let's just do 5 just because. Do 5. And we can restart the animation. Every time you have to, every time you change something, you have to restart the animation. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. We're going to go ahead and do... Da, 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 da. I think that should be fine. We'll change the stiffness because the stiffness... Eh, this is the stiffness of the pinning, though. We don't really want to change that too much. Um, eh. We'll leave it like that. It's got a little bit of a wrinkle in there now, so it looks pretty good. So if we were just making a regular cloth, it would be, we'd be done. But now we're making a flag, so I want to go ahead and make it wave. I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift-A and add in a... B -b -b where am I at here? I've forgotten what I was... Oh, force field. Uh, we're going to add in the force field, and it's going to be wind. Now, wind is great because it acts like wind. So we'll go ahead and that's like, yeah, wind is great because it acts like wind. All right, whatever. We'll just continue. Uh, we'll hit R, R, Y, 90 on my numpad and G, Y to move it, uh, sorry, G, X to move it backwards like that. Uh, now you can see if we have these little rings, if we go to the, um, the, 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 the tab here that we, actually not this tab, this tab. I was on the right tab. If we go to the, uh, the physics tab for the, the force here we can change the strength and the strength will push those rings out so now if i play this you can see that about on 41 um the flag will kind of eh, not really wave enough but we can if we, we have to bump this up a lot for it to work so we'll go ahead and do that now there we go now it's kind of getting affected by that wind which is nice you're going to want to have to do something really really high so i'm going to go with a thousand for this and then, you know, we can get that those nice waving animations, just like how flags do in real life, which looks really great. I think this is probably one of the coolest things to do in Blender because it just looks so real, and I just love it so much. You can have a more windy day. You can even bump this up to 2,000. Oh, no, not 20,000. That's going to be straight across. Oh, boy. Not that. That's crazy. All right. Do 2,000, even windier day. Wait, wait for it to stead steady off there. There we go. Uh, even windier day or you can just go with something low like 300 and get a very soft wind day just a little bit of a little bit of woof, 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 in there uh maybe it's just it's it's not that windy today so that is uh that for the actual flag part let's go ahead and put this on 2000 here so now go ahead and actually if you want to do less and less uh like have the wind come in and out you can always animate this value by going ahead and selecting the force field hitting I, hover your cursor over top of strength, hit I, and then move to a new place, like 60, and then move it like to zero, and then hit I. And you do that as many times as you need to. And now we have two keyframes. You can see that it will stretch down. The strength is getting smaller. You can't tell. Wait for it. It'll get there. There we go. It's going down, and then it'll go back up. Now you see there's no wind whatsoever, so it's going to fall down. With our flag, we can go ahead and hit tab. And uh, make sure we have all of these uh, all these vertices all set and ready to go. Make sure you have more than one vertice, rather. Um, and then go to the material tab. Select this material right here by hitting this little box. On the side of this base color, we hit that little button and then change this to image texture. And now we can go ahead and now we can, and now we can go ahead and hit open. And we can find our file here in downloads. I have the Ubisoft logo. I can just open that up real quick. And uh, if we go to the material tab, you can see here. You can see you can see huh, you can see here that if I were to go there we go. Now you can see that it doesn't look the best. That's because we haven't unwrapped anything. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, and, hit, and go to the edit mode by hitting tab, hit uh, U, and then UV unwrap. Now you can see it's a little, it looks a little bit better. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to drag our window into two by splitting this in half and then changing this up here to the UV editor. Now this UV editor, you can see if I double tap A, we can select all those. And now if I scale this, hit S, X, I can scale that. Actually, I can just hit S to scale it up a little bit. All right, so there we go. Now, if you want like more space on the sides of your your thing instead of it like tiling or repeating, the best way to do that is literally just to make your image not as big as the actual logo. So just have a, a bunch of like blank space on the on the sides. Uh, it shouldn't be all the way out to the edges anyway. And that's just a bad thing. There we go. The flag now has a logo on it, which looks fantastico. So I hope you boys and girls enjoyed today's tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.